Ooh, that cologne smells good. Of course it is, it's mine. <sighs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to The Cycle, presented by Budweiser. We are here at Foley's, one of the best baseball bars in the city, and we are welcoming one of the best baseball fans that we know, Willie Colon, Super Bowl winning champion, huge Yankees fan, and South Bronx native. Woo! Yo, this is your first time here. You've never been to this bar. No, I've never been here. It looks amazing. I, I, I'm looking at the jerseys, the trophies, the bobbleheads. It all works. Man. So we are at an Irish bar with a baseball attitude. Um, this place so is really nice. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, let's yeah. talk a little bit about the season because we're a quarter of the way through. Yeah. And so far to me, we're talking more about the individual performances of athletes. Cody Bellinger, Christian Yelich, uh, you know, George Springer, what these guys are doing rather than these teams. Right. How do you, how do you, answer to that if that's what's going on. Well I don't think it's a bad thing. You know, that's what baseball is about, right? You know, you talk about some of the forefathers and what their names mean. You talk about Clemente, Jackie Robinson, Babe Roof. They were all individuals. You know, you know you right. know them for what they who they played for, but you really know them for, for their success. So um, the fact that Yelich is uh, you know Chris is doing a great job. He's consistent and now he's coming out and having another blockbuster year. I mean, that's just, that's something to talk about. That's something to go to ballpark and see. I grew up during the days of, you know, when it was Sosa and McGuire, when, you know, you ran to the TV. Even if you weren't an avid fan of baseball, it was must-watch TV. So, right. um, I'm okay with it. And I think it's just the, it's the era of baseball. Be honest, how thirsty are Yankees fans for Dallas Keuchel? I'm going to tell you why I'm thirsty for him. Because <laughs> he's owned us. He's flat out owned us. Um, and it, if we do get him, we don't have to trade him for any assets. You know, he's ours. So for, for me, uh, but I wouldn't be mad at Bumgarner either. Uh, Ooh. So I'm just going to throw it out there. But There's a wild card. But Dallas, I've watched him, man. He's destroyed us. Like, he gives me nightmares. Literally every time I'm at Yankee Stadium, yeah. you're there. You're eating the buffet. You're in the stands. I'm definitely you're at the buffet. With the crowd. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're definitely <laughs> at the buffet. But you're part Big of the Big prime scene. rib guy. Yeah. yeah. The prime rib's delicious. I like the crab legs. Yeah, that's the wife. I'm a prime rib and a yeah, yeah. sushi guy. So for you, it's not about sitting in the man cave back at home. It's being in the atmosphere and also being able to bring your wife. Well, the fact that I have a, a woman that loves baseball, come on. Hey, you listen. Know, I'm spoiled. I, you know, like I, most women want to do other womanly things or kind of, <laughs> you know, watch Real House of whatever. You know, my wife wants to see the Yanks and she's into it. And it's kind of our pastime. When we get bored, we need, we're like, babe. She'll tell me I'm looking up Yankee tickets right now. Wow. And we'll just go spend a day at the park. So I'm extremely blessed. I have no complaints. My wife is the bomb. You grew up in the South Bronx as yeah. a Yankees fan. Can I take a sip of the beer, by the way? Of course you can. Okay, thank you, Bella. The delicious Budweiser. You grew up in the South Bronx. You were a huge Yankees fan growing up. Yeah, I had no choice. I was always on punishment. Saturday afternoon, that was the only thing on TV was the Yankees. Uh -huh. So I would spend my day uh, on the couch or in the bedroom watching the Yankees go. go and. Um, I was a big uh, Don Madley fan. I loved him. The mustache, you know, he had the little kind of like Wade Garrett from Roadhouse. He kind of <laughs> had that slick little look. And um, so, and that was and that was me. That's how I grew up, became a Yankees fan. So from the age of 13 to 17, yeah. you win four championships, your team. Yeah. That's called being a spoiled fan, I got to say. Man, it's kind of like the era of what Boston's going through, right? Every right. time you look up, there's some Boston team winning the championship. You know, there's so many memories. And I can remember uh, the first thing that won in 96, it was a night game, um, and it's the iconic picture of it's a young Derek G. He's throwing his hands up. And I can remember being in my uh, bedroom, and everybody stuck out pans outside their window, and they were banging on them. And I lived in the projects, by the way. I'm from the South Bronx, so <laughs> everybody didn't run to the streets. They they pull out their they pulled out like pots and pans, and they were banging and screaming Yankees. And I remember that as a kid, and I remember running to the kitchen like, "Mom, give me a pan." She's like, "Hell no, like, <laughs> you're not dropping my pans out the window." Um, but it was good. It was fun and. Um, the Yankees, is, and I live five minutes from the stadium. That community supports that team so much, and I, to be a part of it, man, is there's nothing you can say about the Yankees. Anymore. What's the biggest misconception that people have about New Yorkers? I'm, I'm, I'm interested to hear your response to that first. Because you're from D.C., right? I'm from D.C. Yeah, what did you think when you got to New York? I thought people were pretty rude, right. to be honest. All right, and that's... And, that's, and uh, I think that's a misconception. They just have places to be, because people are just always on the I road. think New York is always on the minute. Yeah. So, for instance, if you ask somebody, where's Original Joe's? That's the wrong question to ask. <laughs> There's 50 Original Joe's in this city. Right, right. And people don't have the time to explain that to right, you, right? Right, So, I try to tell everybody to be very detailed or precise about what you want, and somebody will help you. But I think the biggest misconception overall is that this isn't a family town. You know, they just think about money. But it, New York is a family town. It's expensive. Mm -hmm. 
let's not let's not uh, be serious about that. Uh, but it is a family town. I think you, as a family, if you grow up in New York, you learn a lot of values. You learn how to grow up fast. You learn how to communicate because it's a culture, right? It's a mixing yeah. pot, and we all talk different and look different and act different. But yeah. you got to be able to communicate. Yeah. And so that's why I think it's important. That's what makes the city great. What is something that people always get right about New Yorkers? That's it. That's right. Yep. That's it. <laughs> um, it's a dirty city. <laughs> it really is. There's trash everywhere. There's trash everywhere, and I love New York. I'm a New Yorker through and through. Um, but it's uh, the other day I walked by Barf, and I was sitting there like, <laughs> what type of night you had on a Monday that you had to throw up that much? You know what I mean? It's like four in the morning, like five in the morning. I'm walking by this pile of Barf. I'm like. Yesterday was Monday. <laughs> what were you doing on the Monday that you produced that much bar? That's the kind of stuff you see when you have to be up really early because yeah. you do your show, right? Barstool True. Breakfast. Shout out to Barstool Breakfast crew. You guys have an awesome crew, a motley crew. What's the chemistry like between you guys? It's wacky, man. You know, we have uh, Mike McCarthy, aka Large. He's been on Wall Street for he's on Wall Street for over 25 years. He's kind of a cult hero. He's a bald suburban dad looking guy. Yeah. But is just sharp and witty as all hell. Uh, my other co-host is Francis Ellis, young guy from Maine. Uh, he'll he'll be the first one to tell you he graduated from Harvard because that's that's his pride and joy. Uh -huh. um, and he's a comedian as well. We're a mixed bag. We're crazy. We fight like family, but uh, you know we we take pride in what we do and we just we just go at it every morning. I know you guys love to play games on your morning show, so we're gonna play a game here okay. with you. Okay. It's called Start Sit Cut. I'm gonna give you a scenario. Start Sit Cut. Start Sit Cut. I'm gonna give you a scenario and I'm gonna give you three athletes and you tell me which you're gonna start, which you're gonna sit, and what you're gonna cut. Okay. All Yankees. You'll see. Okay. First one up. You need a game-winning hit in the World Series. Oh, wow. Start, sit, and cut these guys. Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, and Manny Machado. Um, start and Trout. Okay. Uh, Who do you sit? So I'm sitting and Harper Machado. and I'm cutting Trout. I'm sitting Harper and I'm cutting um, Machado. Wow. Yeah. How do you think Manny's going to feel about that? You cutting him? Leaving He's in San Diego eating, eating, drinking Michael Brews, having fish tacos. He's not into it. <laughs> he's not into it. He got paid. He's yeah, good. Yeah, he's done. Nobody cares about Machado. He's, there's a reason he went to San Diego, people. He didn't want the, he didn't want the light. It is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. All right, you're headed to Rucker Park for a pickup game of hoops. Start, sit, and cut these guys. Nick Mangold, Big Ben, and Large. Oh, Big Large. Uh, my <laughs> brother. Uh, ben Kahoot. He can? Ben can really shoot. He actually played college, uh, high school ball. Um, so you're going to start Ben? Start in Ben Roethlisberger. I'll, I'll sit large because at least he can rebound for me. I've, I've watched, yeah, Nick, I'm going to bench him. I'm a, he's he's got to go. He's <laughs> right. cut. That's my dog, too. But I got I to gotta cut Nick, yeah. Oh, I feel bad for Nick. All right, you're coming out of retirement. You're getting back on the O-line. You're joined by Bartolo Colon. My cousin. Prince Fielder. Oh, I love That's my guy. And David Ortiz. Start, sit, cut. Man, I'm starting Prince because okay. he can play center. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit Big Poppy because I feel like he's gonna get us a lot of fouls, like a lot of flags. Okay. But I like him. He's, he got the sexy to him. Uh, what do you put the ultimate sexy? Come on, we're talking about big yeah, sexy. But Bartello, he's. he's You're gonna old. cut Bartello. Yeah, Cologne? I'm cutting Bartello. This is gonna only be one cologne. Yeah. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? It's only one. Yeah. Disrespecting the name. All, all right. right. Sorry, uh, cuz. All right. So you're going to a Yankees game with. Vanny Ramirez, Pedro Martinez, and Jonathan Papelbaum. Start, sit, cut. I'm gonna cut them all. No. <laughs> I'm gonna cut them all. I, I'm, I don't want nobody, no. Get out of here. All Yankee killers. Wow. By the way, if you disagree with anything that Willie said, uh, I disagreed with a couple of things. You let <laughs> us know in the comments below and we'll get some conversation going. Thank you so much to Foley's and to New York and to Willie Colon for Thank being you. here. Yeah, awesome to have you. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Make sure you check us out on The Cycle on Twitter and Instagram, at The Cycle. See where we are next time. See you there.